So for our next speaker, I'd like to introduce you to a friend that represents the best of artistic creativity and software development. Please give a warm welcome to cinematographer, developer, and all-around cool guy, Matt Workman. Oh, Matt, come on. Hey, how's it going? My name is Matt Workman, and I'm the developer of CineTracer. CineTracer is developed in Unreal Engine, of course, and it's a tool for professional filmmakers to be able to plan the visuals for commercials, television shows, and feature films. But before CineTracer, before I was a developer, this is me, I was a cinematographer in New York City shooting commercials, music videos, etc. And what I've learned from being on set is that planning is crucial. If the key creatives only have the vision in their head and no one else can see it, you're gonna have a bad time. When I first started getting into more advanced planning, I was using Google SketchUp, and it does a pretty good job, you can see that. We can place objects, and we can kind of do camera work, but the main thing missing for me as a cinematographer was lighting. I wanna communicate lighting. So to do that, I moved from SketchUp into Maya and then into Cinema 4D. So we had the cameras, we had the lighting. It was working pretty well, but there was still just one big problem in that for filmmakers, cinematographers, it just takes too much time. If we put up the camera, the lights, we want to render a single frame, you're talking minutes to hours, and animation is kind of out of the scope for most cinematographers to plan a shoot. So the real solution was for me to then bring all that work, all that research directly into Unreal Engine and take advantage of the real-time rendering capabilities. So I bring in all the assets and I start building the stuff that I've always been building. These are cameras, lights, actors, but I'm in a game engine. So I start experimenting with game mechanics. <laughs> and these are the results. It's okay to have a little fun. That's a big part of what I'm trying to build. So eventually it's time to release the Kraken, the early release, the beta. We're talking like one map here. Really basic build, but in about a month, we have thousands and thousands of filmmakers around the world using CineTracer, and it's a great launch. Since the launch, every day I'm adding new features, I post videos online, and the difference now is that we have filmmakers around the world using it and giving feedback on actual shoots. And this back and forth of making features, getting feedback, this is a daily thing. I'm doing this every single day, talking directly with the film industry, and it's allowed me to pick the direction of where we're going much easier. CineTracer today, we're running Unreal Engine 4.22. It's the latest public build, and we're recently just hit a big milestone, and we have enabled real-time ray tracing. Ray tracing isn't something that most filmmakers and cinematographers think that they need, but now they'll see that they do. The difference with ray tracing, when you have it, when you turn it on, the lighting in CineTracer looks and feels like the lighting in the real world. So here's the list, it's kind of a mouthful. We have real-time ray-traced shadows, real-time ray-traced reflections. That, that's actually my whole list. There's, there's more we're gonna do, and there's more coming out in dot two, three. And when we look through the camera now, when we combine all this together, we have an amazing quality of light that's like the real world, and we're lighting with reflections. If you've ever been on set with a cinematographer or on any shoot, you'll see that they like to change the lights a lot. They like to experiment and find it in the moment and find the right emotion by moving things and looking at it. And we have that same sort of environment going here, and now we have the quality and we have the interactivity in real time all together. And we build all these tools and we put them together so that we can give filmmakers the ability to shape the emotion of the scene. Light coming through the window sets the tone, sets the mood, and the key light on the actor's face looks great as well. Filmmaking is evolving extremely quickly, uh, more today than ever. There's new pipelines, new workflows, and there's new tools, and CineTracer is one of those. But what I want to stress, especially to the production folks in the film industry, is that with CineTracer, I want to preserve and honor and respect the traditions of the traditional film industry, the techniques, the practices. I'm building all of that, especially regarding cinematography, directly into the core of CineTracer. And I'm working directly with Epic Games and Unreal Engine to build tools for the future, for today, and we're giving those tools directly to the directors and the cinematographers so they can do what they do best, which is create stunning images and tell great stories. Thank you.